Welcome into CBS Sports HQ. Some breaking news for you. A week after telling him he can seek a trade, the Carolina Panthers are releasing quarterback Cam Newton. With no suitors coming in and having signed Teddy Bridgewater to a three-year $63 million deal last week, it was only a matter of time, according to our NFL insiders. Newton has missed most of the two, two of the past three seasons with shoulder and foot injuries. As you take a look at his 2019 statistics, he will now look for work alongside fellow free agents that include former Tampa Bay quarterback Jameis Winston. All right, let's welcome in our Jonathan Jones joining us here. Now, Cam is the latest former first-round pick with Jadavian Clowney and Jameis Winston on the market once this all coming down. This is something we saw a couple weeks ago, J.J., no surprise here. No surprise here. I've been reporting for many months now that it was more likely than not that Cam Newton would not be the Carolina Panthers starting quarterback week one of the 2020 season. Obviously, that came to fruition last week when the Panthers publicly, oddly put out there that they had granted him permission to seek a trade. The wording on that was a little funny because Cam did not want to seek a trade. He doesn't want to be anywhere else other than Carolina because he understands how good he has it in Carolina. He understands that when he is healthy, uh, the guys who were on the roster before Teddy Bridgewater signed, he could beat them out easily. He could, you know, own this team as he has for the better part of the past decade, and he is still as close as possible to his Atlanta roots. Obviously, Matt Ryan's not giving up that job anytime soon, so this is not a surprise. I reported last week the Panthers did speak with the Chicago Bears before the Bears made that trade for Nick Foles. Obviously, the Bears went in a different direction taking on Nick Foles and that contract in large part because, well, and really in total part, because of the concerns around Cam Newton's health. Not only does he have the shoulder that has been surgically repaired twice in the past three plus years, he also has a Liz Frank foot injury, a midfoot sprain that he suffered during the preseason last year. He had it operated on in December. He had another procedure done on his leg, his lower leg, in January to increase blood flow and circulation. And so there are any number of questions about his physical health. Now, could Cam pass a very basic physical right now? The answer is yes. If you see him on Instagram, and he loves putting it on Instagram, he is healthy enough to perform in the gym and throw on the field. If you rolled a ball out there and played a football game tomorrow, would he be able to do that? No, he would not. And so because of that, uh, you know, and again, you mentioned Jameis Winston also, who has that meniscus surgery. He had that in the offseason. This is causing a lot of teams pause amid the restrictions related to COVID-19. You can't get these guys into your facilities. The club doctors can't get their hands on them. And you cannot really devote $20 million in cap space to an unknown, a medical unknown like Cam Newton. Cam, of course, five years removed from winning the MVP back when they went to the Super Bowl. The big thing we know, it's, not, it's all about his health. When you look in the future, does Cam have a starting spot or is this a, a situation where he might have to work his way as a backup in a one-year deal? Certainly the latter, and I'll tell you what, I spoke with a personnel guy in the NFL over the weekend. I was shocked to hear this. I'm not necessarily endorsing this, but he told me that he does not believe Cam Newton will see more than $10 million in any sort of average annual salary with his next deal. Obviously, we have all been expecting a release uh, for Cam, and so we were talking about what's the market going to be like for Cam. Phillip Rivers, at 38 years old, got $25 million in a one-year deal. Obviously, no team is going to want to lock into some three, four, five-year deal with Cam Newton. I get that. But I was stunned to hear this person, uh, who has been around the league for a very long time, tell me that they didn't think that Cam would fetch $10 million per year uh, or a one-year $10 million deal. And that is what's really starting to look like. So. Where can he go? Obviously, the L.A. Chargers are standing pat. They had no need to trade for him. The Bears have already figured their uh, situation out with Nick Foles coming in and competing with Mitchell Trubisky. The Patriots have three quarterbacks on their roster. Right now, as you start looking at, at the musical chairs at quarterback, you have Jameis, you have Cam, and you have Andy Dalton. Uh, obviously, Jameis as a free agent. Cam, soon to be, it's all but a formality now, a free agent. And then Andy Dalton can be had for a very low draft pick. But everyone understands of course, that the Bengals are going to have to release Andy Dalton anyway. And so 
it's going to be interesting to see where he ends up. Cam, Jameis, Andy, all of them. Right now, you can't necessarily find a spot, but I can tell you this. Teams aren't in a rush right now. The first wave of free agency hit. The musical chairs have died down. Everyone's waiting for the draft. Miami is waiting on a two. The Chargers seem to be waiting on a Justin Herbert or a Jordan Love. Um, obviously, Cincinnati's sitting pretty with Joe Burrow. You don't have to make a move on a quarterback right now. And when the music stops, Jameis Winston, Cam Newton, Andy Dalton all looking for a chair. JJ, when you look at the two former first-round picks and Jameis and also Cam, of course, Cam, you have to be healthy in 2020. Jameis Winston coming off a year where he threw up 5,100 yards. Between those two, who lands a job first? Probably Jameis because the the injury issue, you know, it was a pretty minor meniscus surgery. Uh, you still have a guy who can go out there and put points on the board, who can still get you 5,000 yards passing. I mean, not even 10 guys in NFL history have done what Jameis did last season. Of course, 30 interceptions, he had five lost fumbles. That kills a team. And if Jameis is willing to take less, because he will have to take less, I would see him being off the market sooner than Cam. Again, Cam is going to have to adjust to a very harsh, very new reality that he's not the top dog anymore and that he is not going to be out there getting, uh, you know, another hundred million dollar contract. It's going to be very difficult. I, I know Cam. I've covered Cam since 2012 after his offensive rookie of the year season. I've known Cam for a while. It's going to be really hard for Cam Newton to wrap his head around this. I can tell you that he was very emotional last week when it became extremely clear that the Panthers were not going to seek his services uh, into the future. And, you know, it's been a very difficult year for Cam personally and physically, professionally, any number of ways. 2019 was a very tough year for Cam Newton. And now he's unemployed. It's difficult to see where he can land, uh, you know, on a very personal level. I feel for the guy. But uh, if you're asking me who's going to find a home first, it will probably be Jameis. And then I think as Cam begins to really understand and, and situate himself into this new reality, he obviously is going to play in 2020. It just will likely not be for the kind of money that he has experienced over his nine years. DJ, you just mentioned you know Cam personally. When you think about Cam, he's a big, you know, a personality. He's, he's a very vocal guy. How does he process this? Because now he's going into a situation where he's no longer the head of the franchise. Now he may have to go in a situation where he'll have to be a backup or work his way back to a starting role. Cam performs very well when the odds are against him, and that's kind of been true across his entire career. You know, in after the 2015 season, they go 15 to one. He wins the league MVP. They they come a couple fumbles away from winning Super Bowl 50. In 2016, Cam came in to the all season program a little hefty, and you know it was said that he wanted to bulk up to absorb the hits that he's going to be taking. You know, there were some people in that building who said, yeah, it's not really that. It's that you know you, you got a little fat on the hog there, and that you enjoyed your newfound international. Celebrity. And listen, you know, on a very personal level, who wouldn't? Uh, the same thing I've been told happened after the all or nothing Amazon series that the Panthers participated in about two years ago, where he came in just a little bit heavier, just kind of feeling himself a little bit more than he wanted to, not as clear focused and laser focused as he had in the past. And so, with Cam, you know, he has always been the kind of guy who is far more concerned about how his abs look than the footwork in the pocket. That's always been a thing with Cam for many, many years, and I've heard that from several coaches who have coached him over the years. Still, when the chips are down, when people are downing him, when he's down, that is when he performs the best. You know, you, you, your girlfriend breaks up with you, what do you do? You go hit the gym, and you get skinny, and you, and you try to, you know, go back out there. That's what Cam, I believe, is going to do he's going to be in the best shape of his life for the 2020 season it just took this circumstance to jolt him into that you know last year when he was coming off that shoulder surgery some in that building did not think he was taking his rehab nearly as seriously as he should have and now once you get a first year head coach in Matt Rule in there once you hear reports that it's more likely than not you're not going to be the starting quarterback for the carolina panthers in 2020 what did cam start doing putting out all sorts of instagram videos of him working out grinding no days off all that stuff 
That's what motivates Cam. And right now, there is no better fuel for Cam than being unemployed and having to prove everyone wrong in this second act of his career. So I believe that he's going to come back. He's going to come back with a vengeance. I just don't know where it's going to be, and I certainly don't believe it's going to be as, uh, as a presumed starter for an NFL team. All right, Cam Newton changes homes after nine years there in Charlotte with the Panthers. Our Jonathan Jones tapping in this morning on the news of Cam Newton said to be released with the Panthers. Appreciate your time. Sports Network that delivers everything that matters about the game. The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.